and I have student loans that total uh, just over $1 million. You're kidding me. And no, sir. Um, what were you thinking? And, well, I wasn't thinking clearly. Last month, Evergreen State College in Washington went crazy when a professor of evolutionary biology named Brett Weinstein objected to a day of absence when white students and faculty were asked to voluntarily leave campus. Weinstein branded it a form of racial segregation. A group of student protesters called him a racist. Well, it's just so strange that these sort of courses and these sort of ide ideologies are thriving in universities. And it's really disconcerting to someone who has children. Mm -hmm. And you know that your children are going to go there, and they're going to Send be exposed to, trade to these school. ideas. You know, I think I think that wow, I think a that guy the used to teach at Harvard just says send them to trade school. I think the universities. <laughs> I, I think the universities. I think you can make a reasonable case that the universities do more harm than good now. But the problem now, and this is what I find interesting, is that these these old institutions linger in their effects, so that the uh, the clock. And time has become a proxy measurement for learning. It's kind of crazy. We uh, students take uh, hour-long credits for a season. They're tested in two-hour exams. Uh, they study for four years. Uh, it's it's a very imperfect measure, and it doesn't really make sense. The universities face a crisis somewhat similar to that of the Catholic Church in the early 16th century, 500 years ago, where you basically have. Um, have a unitary system, you know, there's one, one way, um, and it's sort of a secular, atheistic version of the Catholic Church. It's like an atheist church, where your salvation consists of getting a college diploma. If you don't get a diploma, you will go to hell, and, um, and there's no salvation outside, outside this, uh, this university system. Uh, it's costing more and more, the indulgences are get, getting more corrupt, and, um, and I think the, uh, the disturbing message that I have, which is similar to that of the 16th century reformers, is that um, there's not any formula and that people have to f figure out a way to save themselves. But, uh, but I think also the sort of super tracked dynamics have, um, have gotten us to, to a very bad place where, um, where education has become a substitute for thinking about the future. What are you trying to accomplish? You all, you, you're, you're famous for saying having a plan, you, you, you may not follow the plan, but having a plan is better than no plan. What are you thinking over the next five years or ten years for you? Well, I, you know, I, I don't know. This is this always this always sounds too too ambitious or too grandiose. But I would like to get our our society. I would like our society to get back to the future.